Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. Buster Myrtle. Busted. Looks like Buster Myrtle was pulled over by police. January of 2020. Richland County, South Carolina. I'm going to show you some court record documents. Buster Myrtle, the son of Alex Myrtle. Check this out. So here is two cases against Richard Alexander Murdoch Jr., a.k.a. Buster Murdoch, filed in uh, 2020. Two cases here, and we're going to analyze these cases. State of South Carolina versus Richard Alexander Murdoch Jr., a.k.a. Buster Murdoch. Looks like the arrest date was 1-8-2020. Looks like he received a ticket for statute 2076, traffic failure to possess registration card. And as you see, the disposition of the case, guilty, bench trial, fine only. He received a fine. And here's another case against Buster Murdoch, arrest date 1-8-2020, the Charge was 2559, traffic failure to maintain proof of insurance in motor vehicle, disposition, TIA, guilty bench trial, fine only. So it looks like got two cases from the same incident that happened on 1-8-2020. Buster Murdoch, busted. And it looks like according to court records, public court records here, Buster Murdoch, was found guilty and had to pay a $155 fine. Looks like a payment date for 17 2020 a few months after the incident. Fines and costs, $155. That is the judgment against Buster Murdoch. Busted. So it looks like Buster Murdoch was pulled over by the South Carolina Highway Patrol. They gave him a ticket for not having registration in the vehicle and not having insurance in the vehicle. So I'm assuming that this pullover that he got was for something else. Officer comes to Buster's window. Hello, Mr. Buster. Can I see your license and registration and insurance, please? And uh, Buster didn't have his insurance or registration card. Got pulled over for something else. Probably the officer didn't give him the ticket for the actual offense but said hey i'm gonna stick you with something and got these two charges and notice in the court documents that he was found guilty at a bench trial wonder if there's any body cam footage of that pullover i wonder what buster said to the south carolina highway patrol officer or trooper when he got pulled over did he say i am a murder the address he said he was living at the time living in hampton richland county is columbia south carolina the capital of South Carolina. What was Buster doing in that area? So I want to share this information about Buster. Do you know anything about this pullover that he got? Wonder, uh, wonder how Buster's driving is considering that Stephen Smith, his case is unsolved and the corner in Hampton County where the Murdoffs are from and have ties had said that the Stephen Smith who kind of was found on the side of the road or in the road July of 2015 was a result of a hit and run hmm was Buster driving a vehicle seems like Buster uh gets into vehicle uh infraction problems I'll be digging in on Buster uh Murdoch he is a public figure he is centered around the Alex Murdoch case what's your thoughts on Buster or do you think Buster is a innocent victim when it comes to the Alex Murdoch case and was at the trial supporting his father and giving his testimony, what is your thoughts? I think Buster personally is involved with things. Don't have the proof or evidence, but we're looking. We're looking. Subscribe to my channel, like, hit the notification button covering the Alex Murdoch case. Check out my playlist, my Alex Mur Murdoch playlist. And I was at the area where Stephen Smith was found. I went to his grave site, the, the, the makeshift memorial on the side of the road, rural road out there. Rural road out there. What happened to Stephen Smith? And Buster is down there with his girlfriend now, staying in Hilton Head. He's calling the police and making police reports on media outlets that want to know a little bit more about him, knowing, you know, what's going on with Buster here. What's going on with Buster? We'll talk soon. Everyone be safe. God bless.